a movie that needs no introduction. A Hunter Johnson, you son of a bitch. You. Jennifer, written and directed by Hunter Johnson and produced by Frank Merrill and a couple others. That That is it's a lot of people that produce this movie, but I'm fucked up. And, 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 and I don't mean this in a bad way. It's just not like when you watch, when you watch a movie and a movie takes a serious effect on you after it goes off and you're just, it's like, it's like someone just put a finger up your ass and didn't buy you a drink and just left you there. Priceless. Priceless. The movie starts off with this young man, young man named Spencer. You know, he's talking to the camcorder. He's, you know, telling us what's going on, but it didn't start off there. Let me backtrack from that. The movie starts off being reviewed. So you have a couple of reviewers reviewing the first movie that came out, you know, that was called Jennifer. So... <laughs> So he, he decides that the guy Spencer decides he's going to make the movie called To Jennifer. <clears throat> so he ends up talking to the camera, letting us know what the deal is, and he's going to find his Jennifer. He's determined no matter what. So he ends up hitting his buddy on the phone named Mac, which is he is awesome. My wife loves him, by the way. Mm -hmm. you know he did. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. He calls his buddy Mac, and then he flies out to L.A. to meet up with Mac. And, and he's letting Mac know, you know, he's trying to get Mac to help him with the project. And Mac's like, I don't know if I can take off of work. I, that's like a week, dude. I don't know if I can do that. So he ends up taking off of work. So he ends up flying out L.A. So he gets to L.A. And Mac already has shit set up. He's like, listen, I already got the girl for it and everything. And Spencer like, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want her. You know, I'm, I'm looking for Jennifer. You know, she has to be Jennifer herself. She, it can't be somebody that plays Jennifer. She literally has to be Jennifer. Right then and there, you knew. Something was wrong. Struck the back. For one, Spencer is a creepy dude. He is extremely creepy. He remind you of that kid. Remember, um, remember Scream? That one dude with the long hair oh, that yeah. ended up killing people that you did not see coming, coming which mm. you never see him coming when he killed people and shit? Yeah. But Spencer is incredibly creepy, like on a whole nother level. So he gets there, he talk they talking about the, the, the situation. And Mac is like, okay, so let me talk to your producer. You know, let me, because I, I want to know. I've been doing this shit for a while, so I know about this. And Spencer's like, nah, I, you know, everything's cool. Don't worry about it. You know, I got this. He's like, all right, all right, whatever. So they end up, so who, <laughs> Mac told him that there's no way that he could get that many Jennifers in one situation. Well, he burned Mac because he got 10 Jennifers. During the time when they was casting the Jennifers for this movie, I was dying laughing. That had to be the most funniest scene in this movie, when they had all ten of these women go into the go into what, what was it like a Cage. it was like a, like a casting yeah and they go in there and the one woman that stood out for me was the one that flipped the fuck out when she said <laughs> what she said she work she said do you know who the fuck I am I work for Matrix I am the fucking herpes lady you son of a bitch and fuck you yo I was dying laughing this movie was off the hook. So they end up finally casting the right Jennifer. And from that from that point, you just started seeing like Spencer get really weird and acting really weird. And I love Matt. I love how Matt is just so about his shit. Matt is somebody that you want to ride and die. Like that's that's your ride or die right there. That's somebody that you need on your team when you want to get some shit done. But before I get any further in this movie, because I'm not trying to spoil this movie, you guys gotta check this out. But we're gonna get further into this. But first, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. These names, seriously, because they completely killed it. Even the person that wrote and directed this movie killed it. The acting in this movie is top notch. Mad props to David Cope, Hunter Johnson, and Laura Joan Mummer. <laughs> Woo! Acting is out of this world. I really enjoyed this movie. The movie... It's well shot. They use like uh, a digital camera and also what was an iPhone. Mm -hmm. Like so, so you, you can tell the difference between both of the shots. But well shot, well directed. The music was on point. The story is like one of the best to date. Hand thumbs up. I mean, this movie is awesome. The tension in this movie is hella serious. I even love the side characters. Like what was it? Uh, what was the guy named Charles? Charles or something like that? Charlie. Um, I think so. 
But they, like I said, they was awesome. I love his energy. I love the energy that he brought to the movie. And the friends overall, like, I love the friends. And the one friend really shot me because the way he ate that banana like that, I've never seen no one just completely, without peeling a banana, eat a banana full. That was crazy. And the way this movie ends will shock the living shit out of you. I mean, it goes to the point where it just has no limits. And like I said, that's what I love about independent films. I love a movie that has no fucking limits, that knows how to just deliver and give it to you. And this movie did exactly that. When you make me turn my head, when you make me just squinge or turn left and right, like I don't like, they, like you ever hit your knee real hard on the wall and it, and it went up to your brain where your brain had to catch up to the pain in your knee? That's how fucking off the hook this movie is. And by the time you reach the end of this movie, all claps, man. This standing ovation. Best fucking movie of this year so far. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this movie to Jennifer because, oh my God, this movie is mind-blowing. You guys are extremely talented. I see you going far. Hunter, Hunter, God damn, man. All of y'all, the producers. I'm, I'm not even leave y'all out. Let me, let me just shout out uh, Christian, Chris, Christian Ackerman. Uh, Jarrett Frost and Hunter Johnson, you guys are awesome. I really enjoyed this. It is a classic in my book. Call classic, no doubt. This joint gonna be around. World, check this movie out. It is worth it. I promise you, it will fuck your head up. You will love this movie. And I love this movie because this movie is awesome. And to all my movie lovers, I love you. <laughs>